a friend of mine roots of some life is organizing a three-month digital training skills and i happen to find myself on it as a guest speaker now when she sent the guest speakers flyer i found something that caught my attention that a lot of you have been asking for and i decided to share with you so this is going to be the flyer for the guest speakers there is the actual flyer that is there which i'll show right over here but then if you look at the guest speakers you realize that the images have been created in such a way that they are fit into the shape and at the same time they are kind of floating over the top so if you look at my picture for instance over here it is fit into the shape over here at the bottom part and my head is a bit above the shape this has been one of the questions that i've been receiving so in this video i'm going to quickly show you how to do this and this is an actual digital training that is coming up if you are looking forward to upgrading yourself digitally you may want to sign up for this i'll leave links to sign up in the description so yeah we're going to do this in photoshop i'm quickly going to show you how to do this and how to apply it with other shapes like the circle or even if you have a rectangle or any other shape of course first off let's create a new document so we go to Control n and then we can create a new document like say a4 let's select that and click on create the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create the shape that we want to use so in this case if you look carefully at the flyer you realize that the person or the designer used kind of a rounded rectangle not a circle but a rounded rectangle so to get something like that we'll go to our shapes over here and we are going to choose rounded rectangle now if you pick a rounded rectangle and you start creating it you realize that you're going to have something like this what determines the edge over here is what you see right over here the pixels so for instance if i delete this and then i set my pixels to around 200 if i start creating the rounded rectangle you can see that the curves are a bit sharp it looks more like a rectangle but not that very sharp okay so we can delete this let's set this back to say 500 so it will depend on how sharp you want your curves to be that will determine the radius that you are going to set over here i hope that makes sense so we are going to use 500 for instance and we are going to create something like this for instance. let's open it up 500 is too much let's go for 400 so 400 here we do let's create something like this and let's open it up all right for the background it's not going to really be that much of a problem because you can change the color anytime now the next thing you want to do is you want to bring in your image now, i'm sure most of you are familiar with how to put an image inside of a shape which is very simple you go to file place embedded you are going to bring in your image so in this case my image right over here and then you are going to right click on it and go to create clipping mask and the image is already inside of the shape which i know most of you knows how to do very quick and very simple right now in this case if you try to put the image a bit above the shape it is not going to work out and if you don't do it like that if you don't create a clipping mask and you release the clipping masks to realize that the background is going to be a bit above it so how do you go about it then the first thing you need to do is bring your image in a separate document how do you do that you press ctrl o or you open your image in a separate canvas okay so what you're going to do from here is you're going to unlock it go to windows or you're basically going to take off the background so any method that works for you is fine for mine i have a very plain background so i can go to windows properties and i'm using photoshop 2021 so i have this option and then i'll go and click on remove background a few seconds later you realize that this has created a layer mask for me that has removed the background so what i can do next is i can take my image right over here and then i can send it into this document that we are working on now once you bring it over here you realize that this is giving you this is already giving you an idea you can press ctrl t and then you can transform it like that so let's bring it somewhere around here now this is going to depend also on how big you want your image to be like okay even with this one we can still go ahead right click and create a clipping mask which will put it right inside of it but we don't want to do that but then you also realize that a part of the image in as much as we want the head to go over the shape a part of the image right over here is also going over the shape which we don't want it to appear like that 
so we can open it up like this one more time and try to bring it down we don't want the hands also to show in the image so we can double click over here now here is where the trick comes in when i brought my image over in here it has a layer mask attached to it so i can easily do this by bringing my keza over here on top of this that is the layer thumbnail i'll hold control and then i will left click on it so it is going to select the shape now we are going to press ctrl shift and then i and then it is going to inverse the selection that we made so you realize that the selection has been made over or around it like that now since this image already has a layer mask what i can do is i can select my layer mask choose my brush tool and then i can brush off these areas that i do not want simple like that right but the question you ask yourself is what if the image does not have a layer mask in that case you can use your eraser tool which is also very simple so once the selection has been made like this you select your image choose your eraser tool so the eraser tool is going to be right over here e for that and then we can increase the size a little bit like that you can just come over here and brush off the parts that you don't want mind you we are not we don't want this part brushed off so we are not going to touch this area but then this area is going to be brushed off and now you can press ctrl d to deselect and just like that you put your image inside of a shape whereas you have a part of it outside the shape now we can select these two press ctrl g and then press ctrl t and transform it bring it right over here now we can make a duplicate by pressing ctrl j drag it to this side and then we can bring in the other images so i'm basically going to select this layer this image and delete it open my second image so this is going to be um, a fellow guest speaker from kenya and i'm going to bring an image right over here we are going to unlock the background go to window and properties and we are going to take off the background now you realize that for her image a part of her forehead is gone so what you can do is you can select your image in case you use this option and then you have something like this you can select your layer mask and then you make sure that your foreground color is set to white instead of black so you use the x the letter x to switch it in between so we need the white one over here and then you can brush this part to reveal that part that got cut off so i think this is fine our focus is not taking off backgrounds today our focus is learning how to put the image inside the shape so now we can choose our move tool and take it right inside our project and then we can press ctrl t transform it out slightly like that the images are a bit on the same line so we can transform it some more somewhere around here and then we double click on it now you remember i told you you can easily change the background okay so for a background of a rounded rectangle we can double click on the color and give it a color from say this one's right over here let's give it a color like that and click ok i think our image is okay now now we can come to the rectangle hold control select left click to make a selection of the rounded rectangle and then we can press ctrl shift and then i to invest it for you to know that it is invest you see these ant lines over here okay and now we can go back to our layer mask select the layer mask choose the brush tool and this time around you see that the foreground is still white but then we don't want to make it white we are going to change it to black so x to switch it to black and now we can paint off this part that we don't want so you make sure your brush is a bit smaller so that it doesn't paint a part that you don't need and now you can press ctrl d and you have this one too let's make the last one ctrl j drag it to this side we are going to import our image and this is going to be divine from nigeria we took off the background and now we can send him over to this part so he's also going to be somewhere around here you double click on that and then you select your rounded rectangle hold control make a selection control shift and then i to invest it and then you select your layer mask you choose your brush tool and then you can brush off this area so you realize that you easily put your images inside a shape and then at the same time a part of them or a part of the body is showing outside of the shape now the question you ask yourself is how do you do it if you are using a different kind of shape for instance the circle so if you are using something like the circle for instance 
you can go right over here select your circle and you are going to draw it right over here now let me go for my image right over here again you are going to bring that right on top of the circle you press ctrl t and you transform it nicely like that when it gets to the part that you want it to fit so somewhere around here or better still let's in let's open it up some more you can now select hold control and select the ellipse or the circle Control shift and then i to inverse it and then we can select our layer mask and brush off this area like that now once when you are done you can select the two press ctrl g to group that and then you can transform it to make it a bit smaller like that now the downside to using this approach is unlike the clipping mask anytime you want to resize this image you may have to go over the same process again for instance if i want to resize it i realize that it is too big over here so i want to resize it i select my image and then i can open it up now you realize that once you start opening it up it starts going off board to the image so anytime you resize it you need to go back to the same process select this control shift and then i to inverse it go to your layer mask and then you have to brush it off again and that is the downside when you want to use this approach in your flyers so yeah basically that is how to create something like that so this is the actual flyer right over here and this is something that you created and the approach is very simple but yeah that is how you are able to create i believe for the test and other things you are able you already know how to do this so that is how to create something very simple like this if you are trying to incorporate this into your designs guys don't forget that this is going to be a life-changing digital skills training and i'll be speaking live as a guest speaker so don't forget to use the links in the description to register and i'm going to catch you up over there i'll be getting value out of this video if you have any questions you leave it in the comment section and we are going to interact over there thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye